Hi, I'm Daniel, I'm a sleep physician. And if you have insomnia, this channel is for you. <laughs> nice seeing you back. If it's your first time here, uh, welcome. I hope you'll find something helpful on this channel. Today I wanna to talk to you about something radical, something I never heard about before, before called intensive sleep retraining. I spoke today over the phone with uh, this guy named Michael Schwartz, uh, who I follow on Twitter. And uh, he, in fact, lives very close to where I live. Uh, I live in Eugene, Oregon. He's down in Medford, Oregon. And we talked about this and that, but he introduced me to intensive sleeper training. He does have an app that allows you to do this at home that you can check out. It's called Sleep on Q. Um, I have no you know, affiliations to the app. It's not like I, I, I get any any uh, kickbacks or anything like that and by the way there will never be any affiliate links or any sponsored products on this channel um, however going back to intensive sleep retraining uh, this was described or um, thought up by this uh, uh, researcher in Australia named Leon Lack and he figured the following you know people with insomnia often have a, time, a hard time falling asleep and Part of that is because they associate the bedroom and the bed with anxiety, stress, inability to sleep, whereas healthy sleepers typically associate the bedroom with uh, with with sleep, and and they uh, think of it as a, you know kind of a safe, uh, uh, comfortable space. Now, when you use cognitive behavioral therapy for insomnia, you tell your patients uh, not to go to bed if they're not feeling sleepy. And also if they go to bed and are unable to fall asleep in 15 minutes or so, then to leave the bedroom, only go back when they feel sleepy. And the purpose of that is to reassociate the bed and bedroom with sleep, okay? Now, what uh, intensive sleep retraining aims to do is to associate the bedroom with sleep for insomniacs, but rapidly in 25 hours. And how do they do that? Well, here's Here's what, you know, this radical, the radical part of this is, is how it's done. So they take somebody that is already sleep deprived. So they ask somebody to come into their sleep lab that has only slept a maximum of five hours the night before. And then at, let's say 11 PM, they say, okay, now you have 20 minutes to fall asleep. And most of the time, since these people are sleep deprived, they fall asleep pretty quickly but they only allow them to sleep for two or three minutes. Then they wake them up. And then they ask them like, do you think you fell asleep or not? And they give them feedback, uh, which is also therapeutic. But the, the, the main goal is to have a person fall asleep multiple, multiple times over a 24 hour period so that they start reassociating the bed with sleep. I think it's kind of mind blowing. This is so fascinating. Um, so again, just go over it one more time. They ask people that are sleep deprived to come to their lab. They give them an opportunity every 30 minutes to fall asleep. And as soon as they fall asleep, basically two or three minutes later, they wake them up and they just do that over and over and over again. So at the end of this 24 hour period, your patient probably has fallen asleep pretty quickly 48 times and thereby they're reassociating, reassociating uh, a bed, not their bed, but a bed with sleeping. And this is how, this is how it works. There are a couple of studies uh, on this and we should do a journal club on this um, sometime soon. Uh, anyway, those studies are kind of encouraging. They say that, they, they show that it's better than placebo and that it's kind of at par with cognitive behavioral therapy. And, um, and again, it, it's very hard to do this uh, outside of sleep lab, but this, this app uh, is, is one way uh, of doing it. And, and hopefully there'll be um, other ideas how to, how, how to do this uh, at home and not using a full sleep lab. Um, please read up uh, on this uh, and, uh, and uh, ask me any questions you, that might come up after this. And uh, in general, as I always say, any thoughts, ideas on how to make this channel better, please let me know. And other than that, take it easy.